Okay, so in order to lengthen the amount of time at the beginning of the video, I've created uh, some assets where there isn't a sun in the sky yet. And why that's so helpful is then I can just introduce the character, play with some um, small movements so that people get used to what's involved. And so I had this thing where I was trying to play with the whole movement of the character's body, but again, it's that problem of too much movement happening, too much stuff happening. So let me show you that, and then I'll show you, I think, what my solution is going to be. It's hard because you're, you're in it for so long, and then you kind of forget that it can be as simple <laughs> as um, as letting the the mist kind of turn. See, the sun almost not even there. Now they just create some atmosphere. So I think I'm going to do that for a while. The problem is I have this sun at the very end of these frames. And so I need to get rid of that, basically. But I need those transition frames. So I'm going to do a little bit of fixing here within my frames, which is possible as long as you're careful with what you're doing. So what I'm going to do is kind of grab a big section here where that sun is, but then move to another layer where there is no sun here. Duplicate that. Now it's on top of every layer. So remember that I want 16 on in 27. Basically, which layers do I want it on? Especially if I edit the edges a little bit and soften them. So it's a little kind of mask of darkness. And on layers from 22 back, I don't want it. So select all of those and then make sure it's turned off for those. Then for 23, I want it. For 24, I want it. For 25, I want it, for 26 I want it, for 27 I want it, 28 I don't even think I need it anymore. So I can turn it off for 28 through 30. All right. So now check this out. The creature drinks for a nice amount of time before <laughs> stuff happens. Now what I might do is move those frames, but it's just letting the, the creature drink and kind of settle in. Ah, ah, I like those at the end. So why not at the beginning I add some of the sun coming in slowly from the top. I'm just play with the mist and play with blinking and, and that kind of thing. Okay, so to, to get a better start, I'm gonna output all of the frames into layers now. So they're all flattened and merged together with my corrections in the right order before I add. And then I have to delete everything that's underneath those frames both to save memory and to just keep my sanity of all the layers going on during this animation. All right, so now that I've, I have all these frames, I have 30 frames all flattened into my, I'm gonna select everything underneath frame one, and delete it. 
So now my stage is very clear. I'm going to go ahead and throw those frames in the trash because they're easy to output again. Save it. And now I'm going to work on the beginning where this will be my first frame. I'm just going to play with some of the elements of texture. Maybe even build it up a little bit. I haven't done that too much with this animation. So the texture helps, but then you can also play with its opacity, these different layers. So let's start it with a little bit higher opacity, just by layering them. And let's keep the head at that same basic position, let's just play with the eyes. Yep, let's keep the sun just about there. All right, let's bring that one over. This is going to be the very beginning frame. Option, layer, merge, visible. Copy it, paste it. Bring it in front of frame one. Hmm. Well, I think that's because I cropped it before I did all this. Let's see. Basically, just need to move it in. Well, no, not necessarily. Let's see. Let's go up here. Let's line it up. Because I cropped just a tiny bit off the edges, things are just a little bit off. You don't want things to be a little bit off. So I'm messing with timing after the fact. It's always hard. Oh, moving the wrong frame. Move this one. Okay, I can work with that. Okay, next, save that. Now I'm just going to play with the texture. A little bit thicker, the eye opening up, maybe the head opening up just slightly. And the sun's starting to come in. It doesn't have to appear so, so strongly. I'll keep it nice and slow. The audience a chance just to take in the creature in the environment. It's called establishing. And I was a little too quick to have just my creature take one gulp because that's what was in my storyboard and then immediately have transformations happening. It doesn't work unless they're kind of situated. There we go. Everything's lined up there. All right. 
now next keep playing with that texture when a mist rolling in maybe even gets a little thicker or I start fading it out head's going to my mouth's going to close again eyes are going to squint That's all. I'm not going to do too much with the body movement. Learned my lesson. Sun's going to get stronger though. Nice and easy. Even these little non glamorous shots are important to the overall story. And the extra problem of lining it up. There we go. It's like four, four arrows up. All right. Make sure they're all at one hundred percent. Otherwise, your animation will dim out at certain frames. Okay, next, introducing that sun, all right, play with the texture, play with the eyes. Play with the sun. That might get me into the first frame. Let's see. I think that should give us enough, especially in the loop, enough staging. Move it up four clicks. See if that matches. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's see how this outputs. Wait. Right, let's see how that sun movement. Works. Oh, I can do another. One more. Let's see to get to here. Let's have him close his eyes again. Taste the air. I don't know when I'll learn not to do predictable movement of things like suns moving through the sky. It causes all kinds of headaches. Created these sun assets. I gotta use them. All right. Oh, that puts me right on with the sun. So I need to back it up a little bit. Not that far back. <laughs> Let's do it about there. It's jumped a little too far. Yep. All right. So that's the sun. 